What's good, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, Akil McLeod, back with another video. And today I got a very special guest with you guys. This is Shaman Clay, founder and owner of New Wave. And just, just tell the people about your business. This is somebody that I respect, somebody that I admire. They've been hustling on a grind. Started a business, I think, even before me. So definitely big shout outs to you. Uh, Shaman, talk to the people, introduce yourself, and let them know about your brand. So what's going on, everybody? My name is Shimon Clay. I'm from Spring Valley, New York. Um, so I started a new wave by myself. Uh, the reason why I started a new wave is because um, I always had waves. I've always been uh, interested in waves. Mm -hmm. And it took me a long time to get my waves. So uh, I wanted to create something that I could use myself that would help me get waves. And then once I did that, I wanted to share with everybody else. Um, basically, what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a natural product that everybody can use for all hair types. So, oh. natural products that basically uh, replace chemical-based products. Um, so, with doing that, um, I started with one product, and now I'm on to like maybe like six, seven products right now. And That's more to come. So That's what's up. But, so, you said your your products are all all natural. What's in what's in What's some of the stuff that's in it? Because I know a lot of people, natural hair care, as you know, is huge right now. So what's, yeah. what's some of the stuff that's, that you put in there to, you know what I mean? Uh, well, this is one of my products right here. It's called Rapid Wave Pomade. Um, so this product right here is, is basically uh, a coconut oil um, base mm -hmm. uh, with beeswax and a few other essential oils. Um, I have this right here. It's called um, Tsunami Cream Moisturizer. This is a, um, a shea butter base with essential oils. Um, I have a few other products. I just dropped um, this wave control silent stick for men and women. Um, this is um, basically made of beeswax and other essential oils um, for your edges, for your waves, for all types of laying down your hair. Um, I have uh, the, new, the new growth oil now uh, for, you know, guys that's thinning, ladies that's trying to get their edges thicker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got this right here for everybody who, um, People by dealing with alopecia, just to, to treat your hair to help it um, stimulate growth from the root. And uh, last but not least, I have the, um, the new growth combs, and these are basically infused with six different oils. And the uh, combs are literally infused, and they soak up the oil, so you don't really ha need products when using it using these combs. And they definitely um, they detangle your hair and, uh, and stimulate growth and everything such and such. So. That's what's up. I did, oh, that's crazy. I didn't even know you had that because I was just on the website yesterday looking at mm -hmm. some stuff, seeing if I needed something. I knew I was going to get that uh, that stuff to make your hair grow because your boy just starting to get some hang time now. I'm just starting to flourish out here. You know what? You could probably even get the waves on the, in the front, right? In the front. <laughs> <laughs> I could double dip. I could. Yo, you remember. I uh, I remember. Seen You've seen it done, for real? Yes, I've seen the, the waves in the front with the dreads in the back, bro. I've seen it. Yo, now that's <laughs> sick. <laughs> in, this, in this hair came, in hair, um, care game, I've learned a lot. I've seen a lot, bro. So I've seen anything as possible. So, so how has the business been doing since, you know, the Rona came around and all these types of stuff? Has the business been, been affected at all? Um, actually, I don't think that business has been affected. Um, at first, I, I thought, you know, of course, you know, people losing their jobs and people being out of work that, you know, the, the business would suffer. But I, I feel like more people have been at home trying to do more self-care and take care of themselves because, yeah. you know, beauty supplies been closed. So I had a lot of guys buying these combs because they got long hair, long beards at this point. Yeah. So I feel like their business actually picked up um, during COVID. And which is such a blessing because uh, I know so many businesses have suffered. Yeah. So I, I'm just grateful that, you know, during COVID, I was able to sustain and maintain and grow. Right, right. Because we still, we still in it. We still in the thick of it. You know what I mean? So it's good that you, that you're, that the business is growing. You ain't, you ain't even mentioned the do-rags. Oh, no, nah, you know, I was going to save that for the last. <laughs> I got flavors on flavors. You know what I'm saying? I got flavors on deck. New way do rags. No, that's new beautiful. Brand, custom. So beautiful. Yo, it's it's amazing seeing how the business is growing. Cause it's like I remember when you was literally whipping these stuff up in the kitchen, like yeah. in your own crib. Yeah. Out of the buff. 
<laughs> with the spoon. Look, that's great. So you still making it hand by yourself or are you uh, manufacturing it now? Um, I still um, have my products handmade because I feel like with handmade, um, you can better maintain the quality of the product. And mm. with my products, I use a lot of high quality ingredients. And my process is made with love. Like, you know, I got the Chris yeah. Brown going. You feel me? I got the R&B going. Right, right. Reggae going. So, you know, it, it's made with love. And, like, me personally, like, whipping these products, like, I love it. Like, I can do this all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? So, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's not even work. It's, it's This is my passion. So, I'm, you know, I, I can do it all day. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what they that's what people always say. Anytime you're doing what you love or you you doing your work your, any your work is your passion, it'll never feel like work. And like you said, like you you doing it, you could do it all day long. Yeah, it feel like just like uh like you know, people go play game, video games, watch you know, binge watch. Like right. I could like, you know, make the wave and like I could use that as like a, as like a common point in my days as well. You know what I'm saying? To just, especially the tsunami cream. That's my that's my favorite product to make. Yeah. Because I love whipping it until it comes, turns <laughs> ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Definitely that. You know what I'm saying? So for so for people like myself that got that got locks or I might not even have waves. Like, what would you say is like some of the essential stuff that people need to pick up first to just get started? You know, if they trying to build their waves, like, what's some of the first few things they should cop from you to get cool. started? Well, first, I just want everybody to know, like, you know, all new wave products are all natural. Like, everything is, like, like, I get my, my shea butters, my coconut oil straight from Africa. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I know a lot of people, with, it's particular with certain hair types, you know, with dreads, you know, they don't use this and they use that. But my products are basically for everyone, all hair types. Um, so, people for people with dreads or longer hair, I would definitely suggest um, the, the growth oil. Um, to help their hair because at the end of the day, like that, you can spray this oil in without, without, with, with maintaining your style, how you have it. So you have dreads in, you don't have to like necessarily get your dreads done to use this product. You can just use it anytime. You know what I'm saying? Right. Also, I would suggest, um, I always suggest the tsunami cream because like it has, it's just great for like growth and it has a lot of, uh, it's packed with a lot of, um, hair food. So with that, I just was always like a go-to. Yeah. But honestly, like people ask me all the time, like, "Yo, wrap it with a tsunami cream." Like, like I honestly don't know. I can't pick between the two. I love them both. I love the smell of the the wrap it with. It smells like mangoes. Mm. You know and so I, you know, it, it's hard to decide. So I just use them both. What's the difference between the tsunami cream and the wrap it cream? Well, basically, the tsunami cream is a moisturizer, and the wrap it with is a pomade. So okay. a lot of people, you know, don't understand that difference. But I mean, this product right here will, will help with growth and, and and help, you know, bring your hair, make it thicker and, you know, give that shine. Yeah, that shine. will seal in that 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 moisture that you're getting. It'll add shine and it'll it'll also lay your hair down. So, you know, they both have their benefits. So that's why, you know, if you get the red box or you get the black box, they come together because they work hand in hand. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And even with the instructions card I have right here, like they both are on the back together, like to work in unison because, mm -hmm. you know, to me, I, I can't really pick, pick between the two. So I just, I just use them both. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's important. And I, I like the fact that you cover in all bases, you covering the, the, for the, for the beginners, for the people that's already wavy and they trying to, build it up and make it look even better then you starting to cover the natural hair where people the curls and the locks and you covering all bases yeah you know i'm, I'm growing and the business is growing i'm trying to you know i just started getting into women's so you know time by time and you know step by step i'm gonna get there you know what i'm saying right. i just i don't want to rush it you know what i'm saying i want to you know actually make sure the products are quality before i put them out there Mm, so, so outside of the the women stuff, like what's what's on the horizon? What what's coming up next? Uh, well, I definitely, you know, I, I intend to open up this barbershop slash salon mm. slash nail nail spot, whatever you want to call mm. it. You know what I'm saying, um, I got that in the works. I'm definitely trying to open up this barbershop in Harlem, New York, and you know, 
Um, just get, you know, the best barbers that can get come out. I'm going to post that soon. Uh, the best hairstylists I can get, wigs. Everything is welcome in the new wave. Hair spa, that's what I'm going to call it. Mm. So, you know, I, I want to do it right. And I want to do it nice. I'm going to have a like, nice little uh, uh, ribbon cutting ceremony. Have all my peoples come out and those who support the brand. And, you know, just, just grow it and do better, you know? That's what's up. Whenever, whenever that happens, you already know I'm pulling up. I'm pulling yeah. up to New York. I'm getting, I ain't going to get a, I might get a shape up from whoever barbers you, you know what I mean? Whoever you recommend. <laughs> cuts on a, a rib opening day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. but had a DJ in there, you know, some champagne, you know, just celebrate, you know, just black business, open up, you know, black wealth, you know what I'm saying, in a, in a black environment in Harlem. Right, right. And I want to build up Harlem and make that uh, environment, you know, better than what it is at the at the moment, you know what I'm saying? Just, just bring back Black Wall Street. Like, where is Black yeah. Wall Street? You know what I'm saying? Like, we need that back, you know what I'm saying? Now more than ever, with like what's going on in the world, we need that as as black people to you know go into business for ourselves and to grow for ourselves and create general generational wealth for our, our children because that's how they doing it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. They've been doing it well, and we need to, we can do it better. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So we just gotta get on the on the boat right now. Exactly. I think that's that's what to me. I feel like the longer I've been on YouTube and the longer I've been kind of spreading the message of just entrepreneurship and just sharing my journey. I feel like, I feel like a lot of times I don't even necessarily need to say that's what I'm trying to inspire. Like the whole message of, of black wall street and the whole, the whole concept of it is extremely possible. And I feel like it's just, we just need to keep inspiring the youth because at the end of the day, it's people our age that's doing and they're, they're moving and they're shaking and that's dope. But at the same time, we also got to keep doing what we're doing so that the youth could see it so that they could, when they see in people like us, they see in young dudes, they see in that we, we're not lames and they're seeing that we taking different approaches to life. And that, that's what really changes it because we could go on and do this for, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years. But then when you, when your kids and your kids, kids is carrying it on in whatever form of business, that's the real goal. That's, I think that's the real like underlining message on my whole channel. So for you to say that, man, I, I love it. I love it. That's that's the goal. That's that's all I'm about. Like honestly, like you know, having a business and seeing what my business business can do, and knowing the potential that I my business can have. Like it, mm -hmm. it changed my whole mindset from you know from at the college to now because I just felt like you know, we all can really like be entrepreneurs. Like there's all something that we could all get into. Like, even mm -hmm. if you're not making millions, you can be making even a little side money to pay your bills. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? There's always something that you can do. There's always, like, we as a people, we are, we, we can do anything. Like, we turn, we turn scraps into chitlins. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's a fact. That's that, a fact. Like, I think about it, like, yo, we really can do anything if we just have people around us that push us and have that mindset to just go out and get it. You know what I'm saying? And be consistent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because without being consistent, nothing will, will function properly. Nothing. Yeah. It's, it's, gonna... it's and, and the thing is, it's leading me down different, different, world, different uh, trains of thought. But I'm really thinking of like the different parts of mindset that people need to really tap into. Just as simple as, as saying consistency. Because so much people think, you know, overnight successes. We see it so often now in society, especially social media. One day somebody got zero followers or zero subscribers and then two weeks later they, they blew up. And those things is like catching lightning in a bottle. It don't happen often. You know what I mean? But for the everyday person, especially like you and me, it's a journey. It's a marathon. And you got to continuously work at it, fine tune your skills, get your systems better. And that's when you can start to see some growth and, and some success. But you got to be patient too. The patience is what it's all about. And that's a fact. And I, I also believe that, like, you need, like, as a as a whole, as a black people, we need to, to be able to support our brothers and sisters from the ground mm -hmm. instead of when they make it to a certain point. Because mm -hmm. they could be at that point quicker we support them from the ground. Yeah. You know I mean? But because we wait to them to get some type of success or wait to them to get some type of clout, 
it, it prolongs that. Where they could have been there if we was there from the beginning. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I try to make it my like my duty or my just something I do to like people I know personally just support them off the ground or people right. who I know who I, I find out just out there and I try to support them off the ground because that's what people need to get to the next level. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And it can happen quicker sooner than later if we all are there from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And sometimes people, like you said, some people just need that 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 leg up, that little bit of support to see that what they're doing makes sense. Like what, I'll give you a perfect example. When I dropped these shirts four or five days ago, I, I was nervous because I was selling stuff for years, like random whatever, microphones and coffee mugs, like anything I was selling. But I never saw something that was my name behind it. Like what you doing? I've never done something like that before. So I was nervous, like starting something some from scratch. But once once I got those first couple orders, my wife was the first person to order. So shout out to her. But once I started getting some more orders, you start getting that confidence and you start thinking to yourself, yo, this is possible. I'm on to something. This is it could happen. Yeah. And I think it's just like it's those baby steps. Like you just need that that support to keep you pushing. And once you get to that next stage, now you feel obligated to look back and pull whoever else you could pull up. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, and, you know, and I believe, you know, you definitely need that support. But, like, as an entrepreneur, like, my message to, like, other entrepreneurs is, like, you do need other people's support, but don't have the mindset that you need that support. You know Mm. what I'm saying? You got to have the mindset where you can just – not worry about what other people are doing or not worry about what people are supporting you. Cause even, you know, I've had people close to me that didn't support from the jump family. That didn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I never let it affect me because I, I knew what I knew when I believe what I believe. Right. So I feel like for other entrepreneurs out there, like don't let other people not being in your court or not telling you, you should go start that business or no, go get that LLC. Don't let that discourage you from not yeah. doing it because at the end of the day, you need to do you for you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's a lot of people forgetting. So, big up to all the entrepreneurs out there and who Shout just out. making it together. That ass. Yeah, because the thing was crazy as you saying that, I feel like everybody can relate to some degree because especially when it comes to family and close friends, what it is is that people put their doubts and their fears and they put that same energy on you. And they said, oh, no, nah, that's, a, that's a bad idea. I, could, I, I wouldn't do that if I was you. That's, mm-hmm. That sounds crazy. But it's just like, if you don't believe, if they don't believe in themselves, how do you expect them to believe in you? Exactly. you know what I mean? So it's like, you got you to gotta just keep your head down. Well, not keep your head down. I hate that term, keep your head down. Keep your head up <laughs> and just keep mm-hmm. moving forward. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it's all about. Exactly. Then you got to look at them. Like, you know, the people who's telling you these negative things, what are they doing? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Where are they in their, in their lives or their careers? Like, if they not really showing you what they telling you, yeah. then do your own thing because exactly. <laughs> obviously what they did, what they telling you is not working. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, believe in yourself, man. Believe in yourself. I, I think that's the message of the day right there. So, so tell tell everybody where they can find you, where they can uh, hit you up on your social medias, your website, everything. Let them know. So you can find me on Instagram at nu underscore underscore wave, new wave. You can find me on Facebook, new wave. And my website is www.newwave.com. So newwaveera.com. That's what's up. And did you talk about the brushes? I don't think you mentioned the brushes. Oh, you know what? Let me go get a brush right now. Hey, get, the, get the brush for the people. If you want, you can show them the waves so they know it's official. Way loud. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, the new wave brush. This is one thing that I always wanted to have, like, from young, like, regardless of a product, a brush. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I got the new wave red sea brush. I got the softy, and I got the medium brush right here. So the softy, as you can see, Got the curve bristles, 3D, 360 curve. Dope. Shape your head with the New Wave logos on it. Dope. And medium is basically, it's the same thing mixed with uh, medium bristles, medium blackboard bristles. So what's the what's what's the difference between the, because the, I feel like when I had waves, this was years ago, 
But I always yeah. had a soft brush. And once my hair started to woof a little bit, I had to get the 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 stiffer brush just so it could still put some put some motion in it. So basically, like I feel like the softer brush would definitely lay your hair down. It's good for like lower hair mm -hmm. lengths. And I feel like this one right here is like uh it's a little bit coarse, more coarse. Mm -hmm. So it can like get your hair once it gets longer in length. Mm. It can lay it down then. But they right. both have the same shape. Nice same curve. red design, and they both fire. They're new right. Um, Newwaveever.com. That's what's up. Well, I right, bro, I appreciate your time. Thank you for for doing this and inspiring the people. That's what this is all about. You know what I mean? I hope if y'all guys was enjoying this, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But this is what this is all about. Like I'm trying to make sure that the message is clear. Let people understand that you know there's different. There's different options out there. We've been trained from young to think that a nine to five is the only way. You go to school, you get a job, and then you die. Like, no, it's, it's no. more to life, you know what I mean? And I think you are a perfect example of that. Somebody coming out of Spring Valley, you know, out of New York and wanting to do business in Harlem and, and doing it for the culture, you know what I mean? And I know a lot of people say that, but you are doing it for the culture and I respect you. I'm gonna cop that growth oil for sure because my hair been short for a minute. I'm just starting to get some hang time. So once I cop the growth oil, I'm gonna be good. So no I, like I said, I appreciate you, bro. And thank you for uh, hopping on the channel. And bro, I, I just wanna say thank you for having me and the biggest to everything that you're doing, bringing entrepreneurs on, the young black you know, new business and putting them out there. And you know, just basically putting out there to the world that you know, there's a better thing for our people and you know what I'm saying? Everything you're doing in your channel, bro, I appreciate it. I thank you, bro. No doubt, bro. Thank you. You're ready. All right. For the winner. Cause you felt like you was losing. Only for the winner. Move just to keep from cooling. Like only for the winner. Only for the winner. Only for the winner. Boy, my heart is cold. And I'm too cool to sweat it. I should've never offered it. I'm tight and now I'm off this I'm shit. Tight now I'm off